I'm not sure what just happened to this truck, but uh, everything literally just went. Hi, darling. So, we're going to fix one of Ross's screwy screwies, aren't we? I don't know how this even broke. This fell off in the field. Pulled in, fell off. Literally pulled into the field and it just decided to fall off the side of the sprayer. Which I still don't get, but yeah, we're going to try and fix it. So, we got this guy all welded up right there on the end. Got some new bolts put in it and should be good to go. Hopefully. Maybe if we get it put on. That's the next question. Slide one in. Nope. So I guess Ross is going to go spray a little bit. I'm going to grab him his GoPro. And don't get hung up and don't break anything. Got it. Do you? I don't know, it is pretty wet, so you never know. Just get the sprayer cleaned out at least. <laughs> Alright. Then once you get that done, go on home, honey. Okay. Alright, I'll be see you in a bit. Alright, well, I guess see how this how this is gonna work. It'll work. So we are going to turn on this irrigation and what? Okay, when starting this system, go to bins and turn on. Oh no, this is for the wrong. It's for the old one. Okay, so this. No water. It just kicked out. Okay, so now we got another problem. It is a stock. Nope, I think we're good. Alright, so. We are going to go move some of these irrigations around so that, that way Ross can spray and not run over a bunch of corn trying to spray around the irrigations we got one more down there we need to turn it on and let it move this one's gonna move and then we got another one I think that we got to move I'm not really sure yet though so today we are going to go we got some chemical in the bed of the truck here and we're going to take it up to get flown on with an airplane. So the airplane guys are, it's Bob Klein's, Klein Flying Service or however you say that. But I got 15 gallon Trevor Pro and I got two and a half gallon jug of Franchise, which is our surfactant. I'm gonna take it up there to the place that they fly it all on at and we are going to have them put it on. So yeah. But that's kind of the plan there. We're going to do a side-by-side. -side. That'll be later today. It is currently like 9 o'clock in the morning. And we're going to have it flown on around 7 o'clock tonight. Or right on the dot, hopefully at 7 o'clock. And we are going to be spraying right beside it at 7 o'clock with the Heggy. And this will give us a pretty good idea as to are we going to be able, or is there a yield difference in uh, flying it on with a plane and fly, er, and spraying it on with the Heggy. So we'll see. We got one of our best fields. It's side by side. We're doing a 130 acre with the plane and then we're going to do, there's probably going to be around three, 
800. Alright, I'm not sure what just happened to this truck, but uh, everything literally just went blank. Um, that's probably not good. It literally just died. Yep, we're stuck here. Waiting. Well, the guys is coming to get me. Broke down. We don't know what it is. But yeah, we're waiting. I think it might be a great background. But we really are not sure. So we'll just. I mean, like, literally, the farm is right there. Like, come on. <laughs> I got so much to do today. Come on, let's go. Oh well. So, uh, I'm back in my truck now. Back in the old uh, pavement princess, I guess is what you can call it. It's not really a pavement princess, but it would be nice to have a pavement princess. But we're, I got the, uh, the, 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 the Trevor Pro and Franchise in the back of my truck here. We're running into, uh, have it flown on with a plane for 136.23 acres. And that's gonna cost us roughly about $8 an acre, plus the $15 or $16 an acre that we're putting on uh, with the fungicide, which hopefully at the end of the day, it'll all pan out, which really for it all to pan out and to make a profit, we would need to see, for the spraying side of it, we need to see a three bushel increase, two or three bushel increase, and then we could probably do away with having a heggy, but, We'll see, I doubt we'll ever get a, get away from the Hagee unless they find some other way to spray these fields with, or spray these fields earlier with like the John Deere or something like that. So yeah, we'll see, but that's what the Vel team is supposed to be for. The Vel team is supposed to be able to be applied with a, with a shorter sprayer instead of having to have a real tall one like the Hagee or something like that. When in all reality, Really, for some of our corn, we need to have something taller than a heggy, but we don't, uh, especially along tree sides, because your corn will always try to outgrow the trees, which I don't really understand that, but yeah. So yeah, we are gonna go drop this off though real quick, and then we'll be right back at the farm, doing something, I'm sure. So just messing, on with, the, just messing with the row since on the heggy. Uh, we do think that we have gotten it better now, uh, how good it is i don't really know but we'll see i guess um they did end up having to replace the controller underneath the bottom of the heggy because the controller was like shot i guess i don't know but it's working a lot better now that's for sure so ross is gonna go ahead and keep spraying we got a test plot to run tonight at seven o'clock of a plane versus a uh sprayer so plane versus ground rig that might be a title of the video. Plane versus versus. Yeah, I like it. But yeah, that's the plan there. So I'm gonna try and turn around back here without falling off in this one hole. So yeah, and then I'm gonna go spray a little bit of volunteer corn. I got a volunteer corn problem, a little bit everywhere again. So, but hopefully tomorrow I can actually go back to spraying and kind of doing normal things for a little while. But. uh I've been trying to get the Heggy run, trying to keep it running, trying to help Ross out and stuff like that because obviously corn is more important to us than anything because corn is our main uh, crop. So corn is one of our biggest money makers as a farmer. So we're always going to try and take care of our corn before anything else. Well, I got a plane here. It just showed up, uh, it's circling around the field now, checking out the area, I'm guessing. We got the Heggy. There's gonna be a 300 foot strip from where the end of that water truck's sitting to over there. The plane is going to come in and fly right over here. I'm gonna go stand on top of this irrigation or box for the bin, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm excited. I have never seen this before from the ground, so. 
This is gonna be fun. There he is. So these guys are uh, from Klein Flying Service. They're right across the river from the farm. They are absolutely nuts. Whenever these people get in these planes, man, they are nuts. I mean, they will hop in a plane and they will just blow your mind at the things that they can do. But basically the way that he's gonna go is he's gonna stop right there, going that way. He's gonna go that way and do this entire portion here. There's about 136 acres here. And then we're gonna go that way. And there's another 100 acres there. So we'll see what he does here. Laying his first strip there. You can just see it laying down all the way behind him. That's so cool. Then he's gonna come around here to the other side and hit it the same way again. Zoom. Ah. Wow. <laughs> These guys are crazy, man. I'm telling you, they're crazy. So we set up a bunch of the bunch of uh, litmus strips out here, and what a litmus strip does is it'll pick up. There he goes again, right there. A litmus strip will show the coverage that we get from both of these rigs. Now Ross doesn't know where the Ross has no idea where the strip is. Neither does he, so there's no real cheating here that can happen. Uh, I am gonna ride with Ross until we get to that litmus strip, so then that way I know where, I mean, I don't, I know where it is, but, so then that way we know where, or uh, when I can go pick it up, because he's gonna be done before us, and I'd kinda like to go home at a decent time tonight, so I'm gonna go hop in the spray with Ross. Hi, darling. Hi, honey. I should probably hop in here with you and coach you on what to do. Oh, man. Isn't that fun watching them do that? It is. It's pretty cool. You want to do it? Yeah, that's what I said. We said we just get rid of our sprayers, get our pilot license, get a couple planes. I mean, this crop dust it. It'd be a lot easier. <laughs> that's for sure. I stole Ross's seat, and I really did not care what he had to say about it. But then again, he does not really care either, so. Not really. Oh well, too bad. He can deal with, he can deal with this field. I hate spraying this part of the Oh, field. I'm not spraying the whole field. I'm just spraying to the strips. But uh, we did put some litmus strips out here, like I was saying. They'll basically show the coverage, uh, how well of coverage we got, and we'll be able to see the difference in what this looks like versus what, what spraying, basically we'll get to see a difference in what spraying with a, uh, plane is versus spraying with a with a uh, ground rig and they've done these tests a couple times and sometimes it's just kind of a hit and miss deal they said but I'm confident and I think Ross is too so we'll see but I'm excited to look at these strips I'm excited to see what they look like once we're done Me too. so we just pulled the leaves on the ground rig and as you can see how it's got that purple color to it that's really good and a purple color there too the purple is where it splatted where it hit and uh, we are now going to go look for the uh, air applied and we'll see how they look but i'm excited to see them because they was talking like pretty confident that the air rig will do better than the ground rig but we will see I know that it's probably going to end up yielding better because our roast sense is all kinds of messed up on our sprayer still. So, not very happy about it, but nothing we can do about it except for wait. So, yeah, we're going to go down here. We're going to go to the next field over and look at the air applied and see what it looks like. 
So uh, whenever I came back here and put these out, I laid down some corn. So then that way I know where I'm going in this field. But I forget which row, which one of these two rows it is. I should have a yellow flag, but I don't see it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look out here and hopefully I find it. But uh, end rows are hard to walk through, folks. So we just got it all pulled off here. Uh, very unhappy with the ground rig compared to the air rig but we're gonna go back to the farm show dad and see what he thinks of it because i want to see what he thinks hey dad what do you think <laughs> this is ground applied top leaf canopy this is air applied or this is ground applied on your uh ear leaf and this one here is air to air applied ear leaf air applied can canopy air applied ear leaf then air applied canopy he really did get that shoved down there though that's for sure we think it could be a turbulence that's coming off the plane the air that's shoving the pressure, pressure from the air shoving it down why do we even have a heggy <laughs> wow so yeah we'll just have to see what it does in the fall i guess that's about the only thing it comes down to but i am gonna run a lot more tests because i want that to look like that if not better i'm thinking lower volume this is fungicide right yeah this is fungicide Higher speed, lower volume, higher volume, something like that. More pressure to the boom and then should shove that chemical down there a lot farther. Less nozzle pressure. Or higher nozzle pressure, smaller droplets. We'll have to see. Be interesting to see, that's for sure. So, uh, I think he obviously won in the coverage part of it. Um, we're a definitely one in what we're running over. So go show you how much we run over because things don't want to work right. Uh -oh. Yeah, set this in here on the counter. Oh, I need to get my paychecks. I haven't done that in a while, but yeah, I'm going to put them in there and I'm going to take them over to the, uh, Klein flying service tomorrow morning. Let them have a look at them, see what they think, see what they have to say, and yeah, we'll see. But we really are getting really good coverage there on that bottom leaf, on that ear leaf, so. But the canopy is the other thing. So let me set these suckers down, and then I'll, start, I'll explain them a little bit better to you guys. So whenever you're spraying Trevor Pro, you want to have the canopy, or you want to have hit the ear leaf. Not really worried about the canopy, you're more worried about the ear leaf whenever you're spraying Trivia Pro. But whenever you're spraying like Approach Prima, you want to have canopy, not ear leaf. If that makes any sense to you guys. So basically, if we have that ear leaf canopy, or if we have that ear leaf get hit, we're doing good. But if we have just the canopy, we're not doing very good. So what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and run a 5, 10, 15, 20, 7, a 7, maybe even a 25. And I want to see what the corn looks like after spraying at all them different rates and see what that does. It's just a little test, but we'll see what happens, I guess. But anyways, guys, we did get something new in the shop today. Uh, it's actually really fancy, so... We got a lift. I'm not sure what it is exactly. It's a challenger lift. 12,000 pound lift for like cars, trucks, and stuff like that. But we are cleaning up this corner of the shop because it's going to go in here. It's going to kind of come up here beside this wall a little bit. And then we'll be able to pull vehicles on it. We can change the oil on them. We can do all kinds of stuff on them, which is really what we need. 
because I don't know about you guys, but I get tired of laying, in a, laying on a creeper underneath everything or in the oil pit. So that's getting done. Um, it should be all set up tomorrow and be working and I'm sure that we'll have stuff to work on tomorrow on it. So yeah, stay tuned. But that's the only project in the shop right now, for now. So we are going to shut everything off for the night. I am going to go find something to do, I'm sure, with one of my friends, and yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, follow our Instagram, Facebook page, and uh, rush, uh, use code RUSH100 for $100 off an FBN membership. Oh, poor sprayer. I got a surprise coming at the end of this year. If you guys want to see it, you can stick around for a while, but yeah. Um, I am going to go home. So, I will catch you guys in the next one.